We're going to look at how to find um, the census on Ancestry. So we start by clicking search and go to census and voter lists and a form comes up. Um, before we start filling in the form, go to the right hand side and click UK census collection. Otherwise you'll be searching the whole world and it'll just take too long. And scroll down then to this um, menu at the bottom and select 1851 England census because that's what we're going to look at for this particular example but it could be you know a different one depending on what you're after um, and we're going to fill in the form here we're going to look for Robert Ashby these little boxes underneath where it says exact if we click one of those you can either ask it to look for the exact spelling of the surname or sounds like or similar or sound X. But we'll keep it with exact for now and see what happens. Because it might be, you know, if you don't get any results, then you can come back and change it. OK, so we know that he was living in Ash Hill. When you type in a parish or a place, it gives you some alternatives. So here we've got Norfolk, so we'll select that one. And then we don't have to put anything else in, it's sometimes less is more with these things. See what you get. You can, if you've got other information, certainly add it in, especially if you're looking for, you know, John Smith or something. But for this occasion we'll just click search, see what we get. And we've got quite a few um, hits, so um, we've got 60 at the at the top there you can say it says results um, but the first one is the one that we want to look at it's Ash Hill Norfolk so you click on where it says view record first of all you just hover your mouse over the top it will actually come up with a transcript so you could go down the list just checking you know so you could select the right one and um, if we click on it properly we get that transcript coming up and we can actually view the um, image of the census here. So we'll click on view and we've got um, our sheet from the census here. We can see at the top it's Ash Hill and we can find the entry we were after here for Robert Ashby and his wife Sarah. We can see on the right hand side we've got the reference as well. Um, we can zoom in have to wait while it focuses once you've zoomed in because sometimes it looks a bit out of focus but it sort of settles down so we can zoom out a bit um, so that's handy and the other th good thing as well is at the bottom here we've got some icons that um, are useful the one that looks like a strip of film if we click on that we can see that it shows you the you can move to other um, sheets in the census so the next one along so sometimes um, you might find that your entry covers more than one sheet so you can just t scroll over to the next one or you can use these little arrows um, at either side of the main image but the little film strip is quite handy to get rid of it you just click on that icon again on the right hand side at the bottom here there's one that looks like two people's heads. If we click on that one, you've got a transcript, a sort of an index of the entries on that particular sheet. That can be useful if you're having trouble reading something. Um, so you can see what somebody else has thought it says, and then you can see whether you agree or not. It's not a full transcript to the whole um, sheet. It doesn't have the occupation. Um, but it has the name so that's that's useful to know as well um, so that's um, how you find a census on Ancestry